You guys may have heard of a thing for chicken feed called fermenting. For anyone out there who wants to ferment their chicken feed today, let me show you the easy way of how to do it. First, let's get some chicken feed. Since I'm gonna be explaining fermenting chicken feed to you guys, I wanna give them some kind of food while they wait for the fermented food that I'm gonna give them, so we'll give them some table scraps to chew on and munch on this morning. So as I was saying, fermenting food is something that we have tried in the past and we've had times where it's been molded or I just wasn't sure if it's good or not. I know that plenty of people have success using different types of containers and sorts, but we have not had as much success other than when we switched to these glass jars. I felt like there had to be an easier way to ferment chicken food. I went on to Amazon, I searched gallon glass jars for fermenting and I found these ones that were around $20. They gave you two one gallon glass jars plus the fermenting lids and ever since changing to this method it has made it super easy and I feel like we've been successful every time that we tried it it's really easy to use so let me show you So now this one is all complete, and like I said, what makes it really easy is that you're putting the feed in, you put the water in, you put this lid on, and then it's really gonna do most of the work for you. The hard part we've had is just the amount of air that's supposed to kind of pass through and not pass through for it. And the fermenting lids does all that for you. You still have to open it up at least once a day to kind of stir it around to make sure add any extra water when needed because this will start to fill because you always want about an inch of water half inch to an inch of water on top and that helps to make sure that there's no molding going on so this we now can set on the counter and then that should be ready anywhere from like 48 to 72 hours and of course you can always kind of let things ferment longer so making a video about fermenting your chicken feed I won't be able to use this one because it's gonna take me two to three days and I don't want to film the video and wait and try to do it two days later from now but we already went ahead and used our other container that has fermented chicken feed that's ready for the chickens today so you guys can see it so let me grab that one and as you can see there's still a layer of water up here and that's because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to mold because it kept on just growing with it but it's basically to the top of this container now. We filled that same amount that you saw on that one to start, which was about half this. It doubles in size, so it's gonna be more feed, so you don't have to use as much as you would normally use using this method. And it has extra benefits for them, especially during the winter time, if your chickens are not getting as much water or the water's freezing, this is a good way that they can still get a water intake as well. But let's go feed it to the chickens and I'll show you guys how much they like it. We have been very excited to have a way that makes it very easy to ferment our chicken food. I know that people have no trouble doing it sometimes, but we have. I'm sure there's other people out there that have had that same trouble that we've had. And now we're just happy because this is one thing that helps save some money on your chicken feed. It's good for them. It fills them up better than just normal dry grain food does. I am sure they're very hungry because all they've had so far is kitchen scraps and free ranging. So they're probably ready for some feed. So normally what I would be doing is I would just get the feed that we have from our container right here and fill in our feeder and that's still what we do most mornings but this has been able to switch it up for us and let me stop talking because they keep looking around me like they're ready to eat. Chickens absolutely love eating this. And what's nice about it is you can see that sometimes they'll eat it, eat it, and then they kind of walk away because this is filling to them compared to doing the grains. And if you notice when you first give them any kind of like your feed in the morning, if you have it as a dry feed, there's lots of times that they might peck at each other and battle each other for good spots of feed and whoever's eating the most and the dominating ones. 
where when you give it to them like this, they kind of eat a little bit, they'll walk away, come back. You don't see any aggression between any of them because they're actually getting more full eating the fermented food this way. Sorry, I thought I heard a hawk, but that's not a hawk. Gotta make sure you're always protecting your chickens. We love this, it's a nice easy method. Make sure I put the link of these jars below. It's not a sponsor, this is just something quick that I found on Amazon, it's only $20. We don't make any money for you guys buying any of these. We just want you guys to be able to ferment chicken feed and for anyone who struggled like we did, you wanna find an easier way, this is the way to do it. I feel like feeding your animals is this ongoing battle of what you're gonna feed them. Do you just feed them the same way every single time? Do you switch it up? What's the healthiest way? What's the best way? It's almost like your own diet for yourself. You're always wondering, are you doing the best you can? Fermenting your chicken feed is definitely a really good thing. But just like anything else, it's not something that you have to do every day. It's good for them to have everything in doses. So having those two jars allows us to do this anywhere from two to three times a week for them, which is a good balance. It's not every single day for them, but they still get it a good amount every single week. And you can see there's already some that'll just kind of walk away. They're full, They're, they don't need to eat anymore. They're gonna leave some probably, and I bet you they don't even finish everything that's on the ground. Talking about animal feed, our pigs have been one of these ongoing battles with us as well about what kind of feed to feed them. We started this partnership with this one company where they'll give us all the pressed fruits that they do when they make their mead and their hard ciders. So we got blueberries from them the first time, and that was a great thing to add into our pig's diet and just throw it in with the feed so that we wouldn't have to use as much feed. They just gave us our second round of fruits that they pressed, and I'll show you guys what we got this time. This time around, we were able to get crab apple berries from them, and they gave us three five-gallon buckets full of them, which is really nice supplement. It helps us cut down on our feed cost, and you can't be mad when it's farm fresh fruit that they're getting. So for our chickens, you might be wondering why we fed them on the ground when we did it. It's good for them to eat off the ground. For those of you who add grit, oyster shells, eggshells into your chicken's diet, the more that they eat from off the ground or free range, that actually is natural grit. And that's what benefits them. It allows them to get nutrients from the earth and the soil and the ground as well as the feed that they're eating. So it is beneficial for them, although we do use a feeder, we won't always use the feeder when we feed our chickens. We like to feed them off the ground as well sometimes, just to kind of switch it up. Although that here, we really like to ferment our chicken food when we can, and this is something that we really wanted to start doing. The one big thing I'm trying to get out of being on YouTube and being this voice that people are listening to is that I don't want you guys, just because we do something, we feed our chickens something, we say something, that this is something that you think like, because he's on YouTube and he's talking about this, that this is the best thing you can do for your chickens. We try our best here, but we are in a learning curve just like you guys who might be watching this. Don't always just take what one person says like me even and say, well, he does it, let's do it. Look into it, see if it's what you guys want, but we have been happy with it so far and I hope if you guys think it's worth it, you guys look into doing it. They still will eat no matter what you feed them. I mean, here comes their feed. Don't think fermenting feed is something that you have to do. We haven't done it and our chickens have been just fine, but it might be something that you want to mix into your diet for them. So you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you later.